So this vehicle is really trashed. I mean, it's been washed improperly. Actually, it never gets washed. I think it's a 20, I have no idea, let's say like five years old or something. It's in terrible condition. The paint itself is really dirty right now, but the paint itself is very, um, there's a lot of, um, uh, I think there's orange peel on it. It's just a very trashed vehicle. And in this video, I wanna show you how to quit, and when I mean quickly, I mean how to legitimately quickly polish your paint without taking too long. I know when I first started and I got into like paint correction and paint polishing, it looked like an overly difficult, complex, super sensitive area to work on. I mean, I was reading blog posts and, and threads on detailing forums of like people, you need 20 different pads and four different polishes and these different machines and be so careful when you're wiping and, and don't do this and don't do that. And this is the most delicate thing you're ever gonna do in one small error. It's gonna cause you to repaint the, or you know, burn through the paint, or cause terrible damage, and it was such like overcomplicating a part of detailing that doesn't need to be overcomplicated. Now, when you look at any type of service or any type of anything at the most elite level, of course, is very difficult, right? Me shooting a basket with a few friends for 30 minutes, no big deal. LeBron James, James Harden. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, when they shoot a basket, it's at the most elite level, that's when it gets very difficult. So, of course, you can make it more complicated than what it needs to, but for those that want to get into it, that want to see, that just want to be able to use a simple uh, polisher, a simple process, just to give their car some more life without having to spend 12, 15, 18 plus hours, this is going to be for you. Now I'm gonna keep this very simple, meaning don't get too stuck on the actual chemicals and towels and mitts and things that I'm using. Use the overall method, but don't get too stuck on what is he exactly using. I'll have all the links in the description just so you can see, but it's not about saying use this exact one. So keep things super simple. I'm gonna go against all the rules. I'm gonna get a lot of people mad, but I just wanna say, I just wanna show you guys like how simple you can make it. It's this door, so let me look at the, yeah, it's this door. Uh, so I'm gonna use this interior, primarily interior towel. It's pretty old and beat up. So it's not a high quality towel. This is a clay mitt. Don't worry about it again. Just buy a, a clay bar at your local auto parts store. And I'm literally gonna just, again, it, it's been so beat up. It, there's absolutely no protection. It's never been waxed, never been polished. So why am I gonna worry about scratching it or adding any marring or anything if it's never not one day in its life been taken care of the proper, it's the paint's trash. Like there's no life here. All right, so now I wash it and then I'm going for the claim. Now here, if, if your paint is heavily contaminated, you'll hear and feel it once you start claying. I don't think there's gonna be much here. Uh, there's not much going on, but I'm just gonna quickly Lay it again. You, you want to use light pressure, but right here I'm just going through it, so I'm using a little bit more pressure than usual. I'm probably marring it. Very, you know, it's not like I'm not damaging it. I'm just adding a little bit of marring, which can be easily removed, very easily. And okay, there you go. I'll put that up there. I'm gonna take the same towel I use to wash it and I'm literally going to dry it down. Okay. Okay, cool. okay and here's what it looks like after just washing it and cleaning it. You can still tell like just from in before it's really bad. There's there's dent in there, there's scratching, like isolated deep scratches, there's missing paint, there's a lot of etching in there, so it's no reason to be extra careful when it's so, so trashed like this. Okay, so check it out. I have the, it's a new one, I just bought a new one. Great Scratch 6 inch polisher. This is 160 because I bought the 25 foot cord one, but I, I haven't seen it locally, but I know some people somewhere in some states, some cities, you can buy these locally, like at O'Reilly's and Auto and Auto Parts, some you know, whatever Auto Parts store, or Walmart. So you can get these for like 150 locally. 
This is a Grid's Garage orange. It's like their mild cutting pad. Again, don't worry too much about what I'm using. You can check the links down below. And with this set, like, the, what I'm gonna do on this vehicle, I could do the entire vehicle with just two pads. Now, I'm gonna be cleaning the pads as I go, of course, but you don't need literally uh, like two pads per panel to do the entire vehicle. Two pads, you clean them out as you go, you can do the whole vehicle. So I'm gonna use um, <clears throat> Meguiar's D150, D151, this is their all-in-one, meaning it's gonna have a little bit of cut, and it's also gonna leave a layer of protection behind. Now, I don't recommend this one for personal use because it only comes in gallon form. Plenty of polishes out there. I'll link some down below from Griots as well um, that I recommend as well. I'm just gonna use this one because it was, it was already filled and I don't feel like filling up another bottle. So, super simple. I'm gonna I put some on there just to kind of prime the pad. This is actually a, it's a clean pad but a stained pad. I think I took too long to clean it the last time I used it and it kind of just stained it. So, I'm gonna put just like literally just a few dots like that. Not, nothing, you can see that, nothing crazy. Okay, so now onto the polishing part. I mean, I just, I hate overcomplicating things when you're first starting off because it, it's so unnecessary to, you know, talk about playing at a NBA elite level when you're just playing pickup basketball with your friends, you know, at your local neighborhood or something. So anyways, I'm gonna do this whole entire quarter section first and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you. I'm there, just gonna spread it around. And with this, we're not going for perfection. I'm not trying to remove 90%, 85%. I'm just gonna make it look a lot better in a very short amount of time, which is gonna give me better results than just a wash and wax. And I'll be on my way. So that's the point. It's paint enhancement where I'm removing some light swords and scratches. I'm making it look significantly better for a for very minimal time and effort. So I'm not gonna tape anything off. Don't worry about that because it's not really needed. You could if you want, but I wouldn't because of the type of enhancement we're doing to the paint. It's not really called for. Up to you. So I'm not gonna, I'm not There, not over, I didn't overcomplicate it. I wasn't gonna spend too much time with slow arm movement and down pressure because one, this pad and, and, and product, even if you were to do that, you're still gonna get limited results just because that pad doesn't have too much cut and the polish itself doesn't have too much cut either. So again, this is for a huge difference in your vehicle's appearance with not that much time. For whatever reason why you want to do that, maybe you just don't have that much time, you work a lot, you're limited, whatever the case may be, that's why I'm not going to go too heavy on slow arm movement, down pressure, doing multiple passes, just quick and easy. Now, again, I have plenty of high quality premium paint towels for polishing. This is just a towel I primarily use for interior cleaning. So keep things super simple. I'm going to just spray a little bit of ONR just to make it easier to wipe off. But this is a pretty trash. Um, towel for the paint but I'm assuming well I just want to show you guys that even if you don't have everything that you think you need and you're like oh my god he's gonna scratch it probably not we'll see right now though let's see if there's a huge difference put that down put that back in here let's get the camera And now let me go ahead and just continue with the... And 
and just one little spritz right there and then wipe it down now are the results again are the results going to be significant in terms of actually removing the swirls and scratches no but overall just like more clarity and more gloss to the paints absolutely now right now the sun's not really out so we're not gonna have a great example of that but as far as like just getting just putting more life into it and, and making it shine and feeling it making it feel super smooth and not rough with all the contamination like it's a huge difference so um see at this point i would clean off the pad but actually i'll clean it up i actually wasn't just because i have to go in a little bit but i'm taking the onr there's a few sprays not much i'm not trying to overly saturate it this is another yellow towel, not the one I'm using for the paint. And then literally, if you have air compressor, that would work a hundred times better, but not everyone has an air compressor. Neither do I, so I'll just do this. And then take your cleaner, your polish again, or whatever you're using. Like, I'm not going crazy, like, just a very little amount. And I'm going to work this section now. And spray down. Get your other towel and wipe it down. I really don't feel like doing that bottom part, so I'm probably not gonna do that bottom part. So, the cool thing about video is that time is kind of irrelevant if you're watching this so this is actually from that last clip you just saw it was actually a 45 minute difference so now i'm gonna go ahead and just polish out that bottom part even though a few seconds ago in this video i said i wasn't uh, i'm not gonna clean it out just because i'm about to finish up here and it's not needed so put a little dab here i'm gonna dab 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 just spread it around Honestly, you don't really have to give it that small spritz of whatever you're using. I just do it out of habit, if we're being honest here. Okay, and that completes this door panel. Realistically, if I was just doing this without the camera and all this, it'd probably take under like uh, eight minutes to do this door panel. Because remember, we're not going for perfection. We're not trying to remove heavy amounts of swords and scratches. We're going to add a lot of clarity and gloss in a very short time frame. So I'm also not going to be using the flashlight every single pass and saying, okay, did I remove X amount? No, it's, it's to give it a quick pass and to just give it some life. So of course, there's going to be a significant difference in that door because that's the only one that we washed even. So let me go ahead and wash this other door and let's see if there's a difference in the shine. Um, so remember, this one has... This one has not been washed or anything yet, so I'm just gonna wash it. So, get yet another towel. I'm gonna just rinse it down real quick. Get your towel and literally just 
wipe it down. Not much thought to do, just wipe it down. And since that's how it was pretty wet already, I'll just come back with another one to take off any streaks. So this is the thing about cameras and paint where like right now, I don't know if you, I mean, okay, you, you can tell this one, the left side is much shinier, much glossier compared to that one. At least I'm assuming, I'm looking at the, at the, at the lens finder right now. And it really depends on the camera you're using as well because like depending on the exposure, like if, where's the ISO, where's the aperture and all that. Like if I raise this up, you can tell even then that this one is slightly shinier than that one depending on the settings. But let's see if I can turn it down. I can't really tell there, but. So here's a better angle. This is the one that was just been washed but in original condition. And then this is where we polished it. Okay, so now towards the end here that we're done, this is the polish side. Again, not perfect, not removing heavy swirls and scratches. But comparing it to this side, where you could like, look at all that, you could just see the huge layer of just gunk everywhere. As composed, this, again, you can still see plenty of swirls and scratches, but there's more clarity. If you step out, there's more gloss. There's, it, it's shinier, it's very smooth when you touch it. And that wraps up this video. Sorry for the abrupt stop, but the battery had died. I just charged it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and end it because that was pretty much it. Simple process, don't need to overcomplicate it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section down below, and I'll see you on the next one.